Hey, Mom? Mom? Yeah. I just bought my first six thing. Yeah. What do you mean check the socket? Wait. They aren't linked. Oh, no. Hi. Caesarin here, and I wanted to make a video about scamming in Path of Exile. There's a lot of new players playing at the moment, and a lot of people are getting scammed. Now, this is primarily an issue with uh, Trade League, so if you don't want to get scammed, play a little stuff out. <laughs> on a serious note, it's a, it's a very, very big problem on Trade League. That one of the number one things to look out for in Path of Exile is if somebody ever opens a trade with you, Maybe you put in all the currency, say you're trying to buy a six thing chevrons wrappings. This is a very common scam. You're trying to buy a six thing chevrons wrapping. The price seems good. Everything is great. You open up the trade and he puts in a six thing chevrons wrappings. You put in the currency and the trade cancels. This is when a Metal Gear Solid bing, sound needs to go up in your head because there is never a good reason for a trade to get cancelled in Path of Exile. They are up to no good. What happens next is that they will say, why did you cancel or something like that? And you'll be like, I didn't cancel. He cancelled. Um, they will now proceed to put in a four socket or sorry, a six socket, four linked uh, or sometimes five linked chevrons wrappings in the trade and hoping that you don't see the difference because you've already clicked accept to the first one. This is a very, very common scam and definitely something you want to avoid. Now, ideally, Path of Exile should probably have some sort of golden glow for a five link and a red glow for a six link or something like that. Uh, but it's also just make sure everything is completely linked. There are other scams as well. There are other ways you can get scammed in Path of Exile. So another thing that's very common, uh, people are using Kidero a lot more this league. And uh, that means that you could find a headhunter. And you could maybe uh, message somebody like, dude, I need to buy 30,000 coins. This guy is selling 30,000 coins so cheap. What they will do is that uh, they will enter your hideout, go in and buy your headhunter because uh, these guys have them priced so cheap just because they're expecting people will buy it bulk and then they're they're hoping to steal your Kadiro. So how do you avoid this? If we go in game, look at this one. We click on decorations. Then uh, whenever this finishes loading, we can see here, prevent others from using portals in your hideout. And you do want to like go to town or something to refresh because I don't think it updates by you just clicking that. Uh, you could alternatively uh, not let people be in your hideout at all, but even just clicking prevent others from using portals in your hideout is enough to stop them from entering and stealing your Kadiro. But there's more. This is a hard one to uh, avoid especially if you're new because you might not know the prices but sometimes people will uh, put very very expensive uniques uh, for, for a very low price just to hope that you will sell yours for cheaper sometimes in the past like say when chevron's wrappings was maybe expensive there will be maybe six or seven people or maybe it's the same guy on lots of accounts listing a chevron's wrappings for let's say 30 chaos maybe it's actually worth 150. they're not selling these chevron's wrappings um, they're listing them and then when a player actually lists it, they're like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to undercut. It's not worth a lot. Then they'll buy that up and list it for the actual price. Make sure that the item you're listing is actually worth it. And, uh, yeah, it, it pays a little bit as a new player to be a little bit extra anal and, and look into things. Maybe ask some friends if you find an item that you think might be rare. But honestly, this is a bit of a pain and yeah, it's annoying. Now, sometimes... Maybe you have an expensive item that you're selling. Let's say a Combs Heart. Combs Heart is worth five Exalted Orbs and you're excited. And, uh, but maybe nobody's buying it for a few days. So two days later, somebody messages you, Hey, I want to buy your Combs Heart for five Exalted Orbs. And you're like, wow, cool, dude. I'm excited. I finally get to sell my Combs. And then they're like, hey, I don't actually have five Exalted Orbs. But what I do have is this really rare unique item. It's worth eight Exalted Orbs. You can look it up on PoE Trade. Uh, or pathofexile.com slash trade, it's worth so much. Maybe maybe they'll say it's worth more, like 10 or 15. This is such an amazing deal for you. Normally what they do is they'll buy obscenely rare items uh, or even buy up all of something that's just like slightly rare that people generally never pick up or care about um, and they'll price it really high with their friends. So some examples of this, like people will price like um, bestiary uniques, prophecy uniques, 
very, very high. And then they'll be like, hey, I'm such a nice guy. I will actually give you this 10, 15 exalt item for your film's heart. Yeah, no, like, I know, I just, I really need the film's heart. Yeah, I, yeah, I probably should be asking for extra chaos on top. And, and that is the scam. Unless you know what you're doing, you should never trade an item for another item in Path of Exile. If you're an experienced player, sure, there's nothing wrong with that. I've several times traded like a Chavron's wrapping, a bottle of faith, and loads of stuff for something else. That's fine when both players are experienced and know what they're doing. But if you're not, you're probably getting scammed. So make sure you look out for that. There is another way you can get scammed in Path of Exile as well, and that is when somebody's crafting for you. This is really shitty because there's a lot of problems with this. There are vouch threads on the Path of Exile forums. However, the vouch threads on the Path of Exile forums for anything is kind of pointless because let's say that I have a vouch thread. I am Zizrin, the established crafter, and I have 200 pages of vouches in my thread. But then Don the Crown messaged me and he's like, hey, Zizrin, can you craft for me on this? Oh, I have such a perfect item. I don't trust anyone else, but I trust you. And this is like worth like 50 mirrors. And I'm like, Yoink. I take his item, then he posts in my vouch thread and he says, Scissorin took my item. And I say like, nah, didn't happen. This is not real. This is um, defamation. And GGG actually, I think it's something to do with New Zealand bullying laws. And to the best of my knowledge, they still do this. But any negative comments from a vouch thread gets removed. So the Path of Exile forum thread vouch threads aren't much good. There are Discord, I think it's called the TFT Discord or something. I'm not 100% sure. I don't play Trade League actively at the moment. I just want to make a video with as many like scam warnings as possible and incidentally telling people how to scam, I suppose. But you know, the more people know how to avoid getting scammed, the better in my opinion. Um, but yeah, there is like a TFT Discord where you can do trading and people have like a karma system. The thing is, you are never really 100% safe. The only way you're kind of 100% safe is getting a streamer to middleman for you because any streamer with over 500 viewers is probably never going to scam you, at least not on stream. So if somebody's live and uh, has an audience, they're probably a pretty safe bet. Uh, I myself have done like quite a lot of middleman trades, uh, on even been helping out on standard and stuff, like just to help people get like really perfect items safely. Uh, actually, I'm just waiting for that really perfect item that I am going to steal, but people are never going to see it coming, so it's going to be completely fine. Another thing, there's loads of scams, and obviously this is sort of similar to the first one we talked about, but faded uniques or uniques that look the same, so replicas, um, these are also very, very easy to scam with. Like, you know, replica combs heart and combs heart, people will put in like maybe a replica combs heart will be worth 10c and a combs heart will be worth like 3x. People will again like put in the original item, wait for payment, then cancel and put in the replica. And same with like things like, you know, like Presence of Chayula, the Combs Way. These are these are all incredibly easy to scam with. I do really wish that uh, GGD would make like some sort of visual change on those items that look so similar because I've never fallen for one of those scams. There's also a lot less on hardcore because they're usually targeting uh, more casual and, and, and newer players to the game and most new players don't start on hardcore so it's kind of a scam free zone it's pretty nice actually but uh, yeah it's definitely something you do have to pay close attention to on uh, softcore so keep that in mind when you're buying buy safely don't get scammed I hope you guys are enjoying these videos this is a video of what not to do please don't start doing these things like I want people to try to like you know we should be a pretty good community I think and uh, yeah, hope they help. Hope you guys are enjoying all the videos. Sub if you like the videos, but more importantly, try to die and scam less than I do.